Hi everyone, John Paul Brionis here from InMotion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress in Motion series. Today I'm going to show you how to install a WordPress theme. All right, begin by logging into your WordPress admin dashboard. If you don't know how to log into your WordPress dashboard, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full guide on how to log into WordPress. All right, once you log in, we're going to click Appearance here on the left. When we do that, it's going to drop down and give you some additional menu options. We're going to click Themes now. We're actually already on that page, but I just like to tell people the steps. You can also roll your mouse over Appearance and click Themes. At this time, if you roll your mouse over this first one on the top left, you'll notice that this the only option I have is to customize. This means that this is my current theme. If you notice, I have other themes here that I could look at. And right now, it's basically just showing me whichever themes I have already installed. In this case, I'm going to add a new theme, though. And to do that, I'm going to go to this button and click the Add New Theme button here. All right. And when I do that, it's going to bring me a list. Once again, you'll see the one I already have, and it says it's already installed. So that's how I know that that's my current theme, and it's already installed. If I roll my mouse over these other themes, I have an option to preview or to install. So by rolling your mouse over, it gives you those options. You could preview it if you want to try out the theme before you install it. And I do recommend previewing them before you try them to make sure that it does what you expect it to do. You can also click these links at the top. Right now, it's showing me featured themes. I can also click popular to see the popular themes or the latest or favorites if you have some saved from WordPress.com. Sorry, WordPress.org. Um, another option here is the feature filter. If I click that, I can actually choose some of the features I want in the theme, and then it'll provide results based on my preferences here. For example, I may want a blue theme, you know, with a fixed layout, and you, you can choose which, which features you're looking for if you're looking for something specific. If you click apply filters here, it will provide results based on the settings that you picked. All right, once you've found the theme that you want to install, go ahead and roll your mouse over it and click the Install button, just like this. When you click it, notice it'll download, unpack, and install the theme, and then you'll see a message saying it was successfully installed. That's how you know the installation is completed. If you want to make this your current theme, you will click this Activate button. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you'll now notice that that theme that I just installed is now my current theme. Thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress in Motion series. Feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.